You walk into a high-valued loot room, and you see it right there on the table. A Bitcoin. It's so shiny. You already are thinking, what am I going to trade for this? What, what am I going to spend all this sweet rubles on? And that's when it happens. You go and grab it. And off. Oh, is this a GP coin? You can't do shit with this. God dang it. What's shaking nerds? Welcome back to another video. And I know what you're thinking. GP coins, they're only good to sell in the flea market. And they haven't even raised up in price at all. They're still only like 27,000, sometimes 26,000. But I promise you, I'm going to show you two trades for only one GP coin that's totally worth it and you guys can wreck with. I know what you guys are thinking. This is just a handgun, but this is the new 5.7 handgun they added in point 12. It's the end all be all for pistols and Tarkov. So if you're going to go do some sniping, this is your best friend as a sidearm. It does wreck some nerds, man. I'm telling you that right now. This can do a lot of damage to even some beefier boys. It does take 5.728 ammo, so I'd recommend using something, not even the best ammo, even mediocre ammo will do a lot of damage to some beefier boys, but it's definitely worth it. The other thing I want to tell you about this gun is it sells on the flea market for about, I bet you you can get 32, 33,000 for it. So even if you can buy the GP coin for 27,000 and then just trade it in to Peacekeeper, you can make a little bit of a profit. The downside to trading for this gun is it's Peacekeeper level 3, which isn't the easiest to get to, especially with newer players. But the next gun I'm going to show you is the gun I want to focus on, and it's my favorite trade. And it's only from Mechanic level 2. I can already hear you guys sighing like it's not that good. But for one GP coin, getting an SKS with the Tapco stock on there, and you know already having a 20 rounder in there it, it's a great deal especially if you find the gp coin and you don't have to buy from the flea market this is a great trade one gp coin for this now i know it's not an op sks but it can still wreck some nerds and trust me i know this because i wreck some nerds with it i'm going to show you my favorite build with it it's not that expensive at all but first let's go look at the killing room floor Sorry about the last clip not having any audio in it. It does have a song playing in the background and that's a no-no for YouTube, so I had to take out the sound. Here's the SKS as we get it with one GP coin. It is a great gun, but to make it even better and ready to really rock some worlds, there's three things we're gonna add. The first thing I'm gonna tell you about is the foregrip. Now, you can add whatever foregrip you have lying around, say you found one in Raid, or you can just grab one from the dealer. My go-to is always the RK1. The next thing we're going to need is a sight for the gun. So again, if you have anything lying around, use it. Or if you have a preferred sight, use that one. It's up to you. Whatever's cheaper or whatever you have lying around, use what you got. That's what we're all about. Use what you got. My preferred one is always the PK-06 or the MRS. But for this build, I'm using the PK-06. The last piece of the puzzle is a muzzle device. Unfortunately, I know you probably don't have a lot of hexagon SKS silencers lying around or any of the muzzle devices for this SKS just all willy nilly in your stash. So this might cost you a little more money. The silencer is my go to. It costs about 28 to 31,000 rubles. That's not too bad for a gun that you're probably going to get when you just find a GP coin. So in the end of the day, this is what the gun looks like. It's a great, fantastic weapon. It can do a lot of damage. And here's the other thing. If you have, say, like an MOE CTR stock lying around, you can throw that on there. It's not needed, but it will help. And do remember that this gun does kick a lot horizontally. So just be prepared for that. And again, it's not the end all be all, but it's a great gun. And now I know what you're asking, but geeks, what ammo do I use? 
And that's what I love so much about this gun is even if you're using cheap ammo, which is PS ammo, you can get it from level one prepper. It still does a lot of damage. Even comparing this to some mid tier ammo types for other guns, it still holds its own. And this is just a level one ammo type, which is great because that means it's cheap. So if you want to carry around 60 or 70 rounds of this, it won't break your bank. Now, if you're looking for more expensive ammo, more fancy ammo, you're going to be looking at BP ammo. This isn't as cheap as PS ammo at all, but I will tell you right now that it does a ton of damage and it is worth it. The thing is, you're not going to be using a lot of rounds at once because this is a semi-automatic weapon. So it's not like, say, an AK where you're going to fully automatic it and just go through a 60 round clip in no time. A strategy you might want to use is the first magazine that's in your gun right away is going to be your BP ammo, so 20 rounds of it. And then the rest of the ammo you have carrying around with you is going to be PS ammo. This way, if you do come across any PMCs right away, you can melt them with the BP ammo and then you still have PS ammo to get you through till the end of the raid or get you to extract. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, think about giving it a thumbs up and remember subscribing is free for you, but it means the world to me. And I do stream five days a week on twitch.tv. So if you ever have questions, I'm always there Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to about 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll answer any question that comes at me. So until next time, I will talk to you nerds later.